In this video, I'll be guiding you step by step on how to install an official SteamOS build on the Lenovo Legion Go S as quickly as possible, so we can enjoy our Steam library in gaming mode, just like the Steam Deck. And all we need to get started is either a USB-C stick or USB-C adapter and USB stick, minimum 8GB in size, where we're going to write the official Steam Deck SteamOS recovery image to with a free to download program called Rufus. So before we get started, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. From our Windows desktop, we want to access our web browser and come over to the Steam Deck recovery website, which I have linked in the description. And we want to scroll down until we find the ability to download the recovery image, where we can click here, scroll down on this agreement, check this box and choose download SteamOS deck image. And we want to download this to our downloads folder. Afterwards, we want to download a program called Rufus, which is going to allow us to write our SteamOS recovery image to our USB drive. So let's scroll down until we find download and choose this one, Rufus 4.6.exe. Once both files are downloaded like so, we want to connect our USB-C adapter and our USB drive. Once connected, let's open Rufus. And here we want to select our USB drive under device, and then we want to navigate to the Steam Deck recovery image. Choose the image in our downloads folder and press open. Followed by start, we'll get a warning that all data on the device will be deleted. Go ahead and press OK twice. And now the SteamOS recovery will be written to our USB drive. Once our Steam Deck recovery image has been written to our USB, we can go ahead and shut down our Legion Go S. Before we start the installation, we need to hold down volume up and press power once to enter our Legion Go S's BIOS. On the button menu that appears, we want to select BIOS setup. And from this screen, we want to choose more settings. Now in our Legion Go S's BIOS, we want to go to the configuration tab and then we want to go to display settings. And under our UMA frame buffer size for our VRAM, we want to change this from 8G to auto. Next, let's go on the security tab and scroll down until we find secure boot, which we want to change from enabled to disabled. Go on the exit tab and then select exit saving changes. Press yes to confirm and afterwards our Legion Go S will reboot into Windows where we just want to go ahead and shut down the system. And again with our device powered off we want to hold volume up and press power once and on our button menu we want to choose boot menu and select our USB device. After around 1-5 to five minutes the Steam Deck recovery image will load and on this screen we want to tap on Reimage Steam Deck to bring up this prompt. Now everything on our Legion Go S will be deleted and replaced with Steam OS. So once you're sure, go ahead and press proceed. And now Steam OS will be written to our Legion Go S and this process can take around 5-10 to 10 minutes to complete. And once the installation is complete, a message will appear saying that we can press proceed to reboot our device now. After a few minutes our device will restart and will boot into the initial setup of SteamOS where we want to choose our language, our time zone and our Wi-Fi password afterwards. And now SteamOS is going to download any updates required and then boot into gaming mode. Once our Legion Go S has restarted we can now log into our Steam account and proceed to gaming mode. And after logging in, we need to tap the screen to continue. And from gaming mode, we need to access our Steam menu in the bottom left hand corner. Go to settings, go to system and enable developer mode. Followed by scrolling down to developer. And then we need to activate show advanced update channels. Then let's go back to system and on our OS update channel, we need to change from stable to main 
and then on our Steam Client Update channel, change from Steam Deck Stable to Steam Deck Beta, followed by selecting Restart Now. And now SteamOS is going to download an update package, which when completed will reboot back into SteamOS. Once we're back in gaming mode, we want to tap on Steam and go to Settings, and then on our System tab, we want to check for updates on our main and Steam Deck Beta channels. Select Apply, and once the update has finished downloading, we can go ahead and press Restart. After the update is complete and we're back in SteamOS Gaming Mode, we can press the Legion L button and go down to Settings, System, and if we scroll down on our main channel, we'll see that we're on SteamOS 3.8 alongside our build version, kernel, firmware and any other details alongside our Ryzen Z2 Go specs, RAM size and anything else. And if we press Legion R to open our quick access menu, we can go down to our performance tab and toggle our performance overlay onto 2, open the advanced view and then we'll have our frame limiter, disable frame limit we can enable variable refresh rate, allow tearing, half rate shading, and our TDP limit is currently not available, but will be available in a future SteamOS update. So we have our manual GPU clock and scaling mode and scaling filter. Now, briefly, I want to go over how we can change TDP on the Legion Go S without the right quick access menu. What we can do is hold down the right Legion R button and then we can press Y. Currently we're on quiet mode which is our low power and this will show us blue which is 10 watts. And then if we press Legion R and Y we'll switch to balanced mode which is white and 15 watts. If we press it again we go to performance mode and this is red and this is 25 watts unplugged and 30 watts plugged. And if we press Legion R and Y again, we'll go to purple, and this is our custom mode, which can go up to 40 watts. Now a few things to note before we end the video is that this is currently a development build, hence it being on the main channel, and some things may break or not work as expected. So it is recommended to go down to settings and system and to check for updates every now and then. As long as we're on SteamOS 3.8, all of our controls will work correctly. Now if we press the Steam button and go down to power, let's switch to desktop mode. Now in desktop mode, currently our trackpad isn't working, although this will be fixed in a future update. So we do need to use the touch screen to navigate, or we can connect a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard or a wired mouse and keyboard. And if we want to bring up our Steam keyboard, then we can hold down Legion L and press X together like so. Now I hope this guide helped you with getting SteamOS installed on your Lenovo Legion Go S. And if you enjoyed and learned something new today, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. If you run into any issues, please drop a comment and I'll try my best to help you out. Until next time, you all have a wonderful day, look out for one another, and I'll see you later.